Hey guys, so it's tutorial time and I actually wore this look last night out to the club for my friend's 30th birthday and I loved it so much that today, the next day, I decided to do a tutorial on it and I really think it's simple, it's really flattering and you can pretty much wear it like with any outfit. So it's this look right here. It's a very red tone, warm, brown, smoky eye and I just love warm neutrals so it's like right up my alley so i'm gonna go ahead and do it i got the idea from jacqueline hill one on youtube um but i just changed it up a little bit um she used a lot of mac products today i'm gonna use a ben nye a mainly ben nye eyeshadow um palette that i have which i'll show a picture of um because i don't use those eyeshadows a lot even though they're really good so um let me go ahead and show you what i have on right now i am wearing um the infamous, infamous CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous Foundation in shade Golden Tan. Please excuse my jacket, my jacket nails. To set, I'm using two powders: Milani face powders in light medium and light tan. Light medium underneath the eyes, light tan all over. To contour, I'm using a Gemma Kid bronzer, and then um, my eyebrows are. Tarte Emphasize Waterproof Amazonian, Amazonian Clay Brow Mousse in Medium Brown, which I love. And I'll show you the rest when we get to it, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for my eyes, I already primed using a, um, a Cover FX eyeshadow primer, which I'm testing. But for the actual, like, base for the shadows to stick to, I'm just using my Milani um, Cover Secret Cover Concealer in Light Medium. And I just want something creamy. This is going all over the lid. Okay, so let's do the first shadow, which is going to be your transition color. Um, actually, more of a blending color. This is a peachy light kind of shade that's going to go right in this area above the crease, just so that your blending is easier later on. This is the Universal Blender from Sedona Lace. Now let's go on to the light color. I'm using a flat synthetic brush from um, Sedona Lace. All of these are going to be my Vortex Collection brushes. So I'm going to take a very um, warm brown, brownish red shade, almost like a rust color, and pack it on my lid. And this is going to be like the essence of the look. I can definitely see this looking good on blue eyes because red just brings out blue beautifully. But it looks great pretty much on anybody, I think. Um, I have brown eyes and it makes them look nice as well. So I'm going to pack that on and also like kind of blend it into the crease. And I bring my color a little higher because I have a smaller lid and it shows up better that way. Alrighty, so now let's go back to the Universal Blender. Get that crease transition color. And we're going to just kind of blend out the edges. And then I'm going to take more of a deeper reddish brown and pop that in my actual crease and blend that up. And these all, all these colors are very similar. They kind of blend seamlessly. You want to go for a super duper blended out look because the colors aren't that different, but when it's really blended, it looks really nice. Okay, so now for the outer V, I'm going to take my pointed crease brush and a nice deep burgundy shade. And then we're going to start to do circular motions and carve out that outer V and this is what's going to give it more dimension and more smoke and I'm using actually a really light touch as well as these circular motions because you're working with mattes here and that can be a little tricky sometimes because it can kind of go on patchy so if you do more of like a circular light 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 motion it will end up being better for you. I'm taking um, NYX Pore Coverage Concealer in light. It's a nice peachy kind of shade so it looks good um, underneath as a highlight so I'm just taking another um, synthetic shader and I'm just carving out underneath my brows to clean it up and also act as a color almost for the highlight okay and then to set it I'm just gonna wipe out that brush and then take a night nice peachy tone which kind of goes nice with this look because it's got a little bit of pink in it and then I'm going to take the same brush again and get a shimmery kind of I guess this is kind of like a light copper shade 
with gold in it and it's going to go in the tear duct and blend it in to kind of lighten up the look a little bit. And then I'm going to put a smidge right underneath the brow bone as well. Just to kind of do a highlight. Okay, so let's move on to liner. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner. And I'm going to use my pointed liner brush from Sedona Lace. And I'm going to actually use a mirror because I'm kind of far away from my um, other mirror. And just do a winged line. Okay, and then another trick that I like to do is take a regular black pencil and dip it in gel liner. And that this is going to make the waterline application really smooth because typically gel liner is a lot more creamy and a lot more stay proof than a regular pencil. And the pencil shape fits right into the waterline perfectly. No poking because it's kind of like a rounded edge and it's small. So we did our water lines. Now for the lower lash line, what I'm going to do is do like kind of like a similar color pattern on the bottom. So I'm going to first I'm going to set it with black, just because I want this gel liner to really stay. And a little bit tiny bit right on the lower lash line to smoke it out. Then I'm going to wipe that off and get that burgundy shade and go underneath that give it some of that color from the top okay and then I'm going to take wipe that off and take that reddish brown that you put on the lid and go right underneath that again because it kind of warms it up okay now I'm just going to kind of compare both sides I'm going to put a little bit more of that reddish brown um, Blend it up a little higher. And now we can move on to the lashes. So I'm going to use Stardell Human Hair Black Lashes SF43. Pretty much Red Cherry 43. Any brand has the same number system. So I'm going to apply it with my Revlon Lash Adhesive and be right back. Okay, so the lash is on and that definitely kind of sexified the look a bit more. So let's move on to the rest of the face. Um, for my cheek color, since I did a lot of like monochromatic kind of reddish browns, I wanted to warm it up with this coral blush, which is much brighter. It's um, Tarte Magic Amazonian Clay Blush. And this is, came from like the last year's holiday set. And I'm going to use um, my Tulip Shape Contour Brush and get this on. And since this is a nighttime look, I don't mind packing on the blush because you can get away with more color at night. Okay, so now for the highlight, I'm using Archie's Girls Flatter Me. Pro Matte Face Powder, and I'm just actually just getting, I'm not getting the um, hearts, the pink hearts, I'm just kind of getting the light pink as my highlight, and it makes a really subtle but gorgeous shimmer on the cheekbone, very, very subtle. Okay. So now for the lips, of course we're going to do a nude lip because this is like a clubbing look. I'm going to take that same concealer, the Milani Secret Cover, and use this as my lip color. This is going to nude out my lips, but also serve as the hand nude color. So you're going to blend it in really good. Make sure your lips are very moisturized. Okay, now I'm going to take NYX's Nude Truffle Lip Pencil. And it's just like a brown outline. This will help make the look a lot more wearable.
And then on top, I'm going to take Revlon's brown sugar lip butter. And it's kind of like um, sheer, so it kind of just gives it a nice glossy finish. And that is it. So this is the final look. I'm just trying to check and make sure everything's even. So I love this look for going out at night. It's just really easy, very flattering. You could change it up um, if you want by doing maybe even like a pop of color on your lips because it is a neutral eye. But I just like a nude lip because it's a strong smoky eye. So that is it for my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. All the products listed will be on MakeupByRenRen.com. And I'm still taking tutorial requests, so leave them in the comments below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great night. Ciao, Bellas.